Hello everyone, it's Mimi DeLongprey and welcome back to another video. So for this video, this is something that I teased in the last video and obviously that you can see on the wall right here. The Bretman Rock X Color Pop Lit Collection. So if you already don't know, Bretman Rock released two collections with ColourPop Cosmetics, one being the Lit Collection and one being the Wet Collection. So if you already didn't know, Bretman Rock has a collaboration with ColourPop Cosmetics in which he released two collections. We have the Lit Collection and the Wet Collection. The Lit Collection is what I have and will be reviewing today, which is the Red Collection basically. Nothing but warm red tones and cool red tones. While the Wet Collection has nothing but blue tones. Blue cool and blue warm tones. So we're going to be testing out the Lit Collection today. Please tell me if you guys want me to do the Wet Collection. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh. And before we actually get into the video, please leave me a comment down below. I love looking at comments and seeing your guys' comments. It makes me just so happy. And um, also, thank you so much for watching the wig tutorial I did a couple days ago. I'm so nervous to be back, and I was definitely more nervous in that video than I am in this video. And I'm very excited to get into this collection. And one last huge shout out and thank you to my good, good friend, Isabel, for getting me this collection. I did not buy this, my friend Isabel bought this for me um, as a little Christmas present and I just want to say thank you so much Isabel and I love you so much. So without further ado, let's get into the collection. So for this collection there are five different items and we have a eyeshadow palette with very gorgeous packaging, look at that. We also have a pigment and this is called She's Lit. We also have a blush. I'm definitely excited that a collaboration has a blush. I mean, first off, let's just get this out of the way. I don't understand why blush is so expensive. It just aggravates me to my core. So to see a blush in this collection that is definitely not that expensive because ColourPop is not that much of an expensive brand, but they do have some good quality. It's very good to see a nice little red blush. She is red though. She's a very red, hot pink shade. And the last two items for the lit collection is a satin liquid lip in the shade wig, which is what I'm going to put on after this video, and a lip gloss, a gold lip gloss, which I don't really like gold, um, in the shade I see you, I see you, use a gold lip gloss. I might not use you, but we'll see. Alright, so without further ado, I have everything else done as you guys kind of already see, and I'm going to go into the lit palette. Alright, so here is the eyeshadow palette. We have eight shades in this palette and their names are Owodeva, which is a matte peachy shade. Then we have Mercy, which seems to be the more metallic shade. It's definitely a dark burgundy cranberry color, which I actually really like. It's really pretty. Then we have Macchiato, and um, honestly, I don't understand any of like, you know, the inspirations behind these names. I'm pretty sure these are all inside jokes. I know Owodeva is an inside joke because he always says that. And I know Macchiato, I think, is something that his sister can't say. So she always says it weird and it just became like this huge meme. Then we have Cleo Amore, which is a matte yellow girl. She is a matte yellow. And um, it's definitely going on the eyes today. <laughs> Next is She Got Manny which is definitely a shimmer shade. It's more on like the champagne-y side, but it's a tad bit darker than an actual champagne shade. And um, I don't know, I think I might also put her on the eyes, maybe in the inner corners today, we'll see. Then we have period. <laughs> I love that meme so much of that person in their car going, y'all are going to jail, period. It's so funny, oh my God. Okay, so this is definitely like a coral peachy red and um, she's actually really pretty. She would be really pretty in the crease, but she has some competition with Like, which is the next shade. She's also a matte shade, and she is more on the purpley red side, and um, she would make a really good warm toned smoky eye. Finally, in the palette, we have this shade called Batting, and I think this is definitely the pinky champagne -y side. It's like a rose quartz, but not really. Dipping more into like the champagne. So if this was more pinky and lighter, it's definitely batting. So that is all of the eight shades in the palette, and now let's go on to putting them on the lids. And as I put them on the lids, we're going to swatch. And anything that I don't put on the lids, we will swatch 
after the eye look is done. So taking a little blending brush and I'm going to go straight in with, I think, ah, this is hard. I think I'm going to go straight in with period because I definitely want to test out this shade more than the other shade. So right off the bat, not that much fallout coming out of the pan and I'm tapping in there pretty generously trying to find some pigment. So overall, fallout, not that bad in period. So now let's put her in the crease. And for you guys who are wondering where is your base, I do have an eye primer on. I put on a concealer as eye primer, which is why it's blending into my lid. So period is definitely blending out very nicely as you guys can see. I really, really like this shade. It's definitely keeping up with what it looks like in the pan because some shades, like the Culture Palette, has a tendency to oxidize, which is something that like I don't usually see in eyeshadow palettes, but some palettes do have that issue and some brands do have that issue where eyeshadows tend to get darker in on the eye than they actually are in the palette. All right, so with period on the lid, here's how it looks swatched. It's definitely a more ready orange toned corally shade, like I said earlier. And um, it's very pigmented. When I did do the swatch with this finger right here, which I have washed off, it is definitely, I hate using this word for shadows, but it is creamy. And another thing about this palette real quick is that this is not considered a eyeshadow palette. This is called a pressed powder palette, which means that, so instead of using more traditional ingredients for eyeshadows, this uses more dyes and more powdery stuff uh, that is cruelty free and vegan. So that means that this does not have carmine in it, which is a big deal because this is an entirely red palette. And I would not like beetles all over my eyes, which is what carmine is. Crushed beetles, girl. All right, so going back into the palette, I'm gonna go on top of this corally shade and go into Cleo Amore, because I really wanna get into this yellow shade, girl. Going in with the same blending brush that I used for period in the crease, I'm gonna go into Cleo Amore and see how much pigment comes off. There's like little to no fallout, and I do have some pigment on the brush, as you can see. So, I'm I'm excited. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. Do y'all see anything? I don't. I don't. Let me try that again. Let me just. Still no. Still no fallout, girl. Still no fallout. But um, more is on the brush. Let me try this again. Let me try that shit again. Let me fix my glasses and read that shit again. Okay, now I see it. It's mixing in with period, so it's gonna be hard for you guys to see it on screen. If you can see a little bit more orangey blending going on on top of period, it is blending through. So one thing I will say about just yellow shadows in general, they usually never show up on my skin tone. I, with my skin tone being so golden and like mixed and neutral, it does not show up on my skin no matter what I do. So um, you guys will really not be able to see this, but I can see it up close. Sis, she's blending through. So my plan is cut the crease and then let's go into some of these metallic and shimmers and maybe even touch the pigment. You know what I'm saying? Going in with the concealer that I use as eyeshadow primer, this is the LA Girl Pro Yellow Color Correcting Concealer. And I use this as eyeshadow primer only because it's very creamy and um, it does not dry that easily. Uh, so it does stay tacky for a little bit. So I use it instead of using it as actual color corrector I use it as eye primer because you know, it's it's yellow and it matches my skin tone. So why not? All right So with concealer on I think it's time to mess with some of these shimmers and metallics with such a pop of color on the crease I think it's only fair that we go in with mercy on the lid But before I do I do want to test out that pigment. I want to see what's going on there So I'm gonna grab that pigment Here she is. She's lit this is a pigment that you can use for your highlighter area and your eyes. I honestly, I've never tried a pigment before, so I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and what you're supposed to do, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna actually spray the inside of the pigment. Look at that, that's so pretty. I don't wanna like drip it, so I'm like, it's so pretty, I'm not gonna drip it though. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to get a wet brush and I'm going to uh, put some pigment on there and hope for the best. <laughs> so taking my Morphe brush, don't mind the stain, that's a stain, not more eyeshadow. I am going to get a primer or setting spray, that's a spray, and see what I can do. And I think I'm going to use, so using my NYX Matte Fini Matte, I'm just going to wet my brush. 
She's wet. Ooh, don't say that. <laughs> so with my wet brush, I am going to go into this pigment just ever so slightly. Oh, it's firm. Oh, she's firm. All right, so now with the pigment on the brush, I'm going to wet the pigment. Oh God, I'm really scared. I've never done this before. And I'm just going to lift up my mirror because I don't want to mess this up. And I'm just going to put this on the lid. Ooh, it's wet. Ah, okay. Oh my God. So right off the bat, using this is not the easiest thing, especially if you are a beginner. I'm not necessarily a beginner in makeup. I kind of know what I'm doing. I've just never touched a pigment before. Use them. I've just never used one with really, you know, thick glitter chunks, which is what this has. Definitely. Um, it's very pretty nonetheless, though. It's still gorgeous. Look at that. And also, like, do y'all see that? I, I don't know what I'm seeing. It's a very, very pretty, very, very pretty pigment. And it's in my lashes. Hold on. Oh, y'all see it? It's in my lashes. Oh. So I tried to take off as much glitter as possible um, from my lashes. And some of it actually ended up going to my under eye. So I'm just taking my brush and um, trying to take it off my under eye area. So it's definitely pretty on the lid. I've taken off the glitter, the loose glitter that was on the under eye, except for a few, if you can see, it's like right there. And I'm gonna now put some stuff in the outer corner, the inner corner, and the lower lash line. And also, here is Cleo Amore swatched. All right, so for the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with a separate blending brush, and I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna say like, because this is a red pigment, so I'm not gonna go in with brown. And I'm just simply going to put that on the outer corner and hope it doesn't look crazy. Just to make sure I have it blended. And I really wish I would have put something um, under in the lid before putting on the pigment. Because now I just feel like you can see skin and pigment. And it's not cute. Okay, so with all of that being said, can we just check out Like for a minute? Whoa, she is a pretty shade. This is definitely up my alley, and as I am trying to put it in the crease, I feel like... See, this was my first time working with this type of thing, so I don't know if I was supposed to just put everything on and then this pigment, but uh, thing, I see glitter, glitter sees me, and the glitter's falling off. So um, now with like on the outer corner, I definitely like that more now, and now I'm going to go into the inner corner with... I think she's going to be... She got many handy. It's just she got money. Not Hanny. I'm Hanny. So going in with a small packer brush from Morphe. Hello Morphe. I'm gonna go in with She Got Manny. And with She Got Money, I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. Alright, so with She Got Money on the inner corner, I'm gonna save this eye for some shadows instead of this pigment, just to see the other shadows and how they perform. And while I'm doing this, let me swatch all the shadows I've used on this eye so far. So as you can see, we have Period and we have Cleo Amore, which doesn't really show up, which is surprising because I didn't find it that pigmented either. So either it wasn't really that pigmented or it just doesn't work for my skin tone. You guys can obviously, you know, decipher which is which. I think it's the fact that it's just not pigmented and I've never really ran into a yellow that's super pigmented. So I mean, I guess a yellow must be hard to do. Now I'm swatching Like, which is the more darker red burgundy shade that I put on the outer corner which is really nice and really pretty and I like that and I'm sorry I messed up that swatch at the end don't clock that and now for the shimmer shade she got many and look at that girl oh that's so stunning all right so going in with, into the lower lash line using another morphe brush that's more ovally and rounded I'm gonna go in with macchiato and put this on the lower lash line and also put like, which I will show you in a second. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put macchiato, which is a warm toned dark brown, and I'm going to put that on the outer of the lower lash line just to give it that smokiness that the top is giving you. So right off the bat with macchiato, I do like how it looks. It's a very nice pretty fade into like, and honestly, I can't clock the spook. I can't clock it. So to finish up the look on this eye, I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush, which is a flat-ended brush, and I'm going to go into this eye, this lower lash line, and just complete this right eye. My right, your left. Ugh, 
Like is such a pretty shade, you guys. I like like so much. Maybe that's why they named it like, because maybe that's Bretman Rock's favorite and he was just like, like, this is so good. And girl, I agree. So the one thing I think this eye needs to complete the entire look is I'm gonna put in some white liner and see how it turns out. Using my Miron eye cream, I'm just gonna go in and use a nice amount, not too much, girl. All right, so with that all being done, this eye is complete. I'm gonna move on to this eye using some shades that we haven't touched yet. All right, so for this eye, I'm gonna go in with baiting on the lid along with macchiato on the outer of the lid, and we'll go from there, girl. So going in with my stained Morphe brush, I'm gonna go in with macchiato and put this on the outer of the lid. So the one thing I will say about macchiato is that the follow is you know kind of intense in this shade I tap into it and at first there's nothing and then once I tap back into it then there is a heavy amount of fallout which I've never been one to really be stingy about fallout girl but um, once after a while it gets annoying definitely with fallout I'm saying that all of these are pretty but honestly you can't go wrong with a good eyeshadow especially if someone has taken the time and the effort and really made it really nice and pigmented which is what these shadows definitely are. I will say though about baiting is that it is coming across more satin than it is shimmery so I think this is more satin rather than rather than shimmer because I'm not really seeing a lot of glitter I'm seeing much more if anything it's kind of like a mind bomb because it seems almost matte on the eye if you can see that that seems very matte and I thought it was going to be a shimmer, but that's fine. I'm totally down for a matte eye. So what I'm going to do for the lower lash line is similar to what I did with this, but in reverse. I'm gonna put like on the outer of the lower lash line and put period on the inner of the lower lash line while putting she got many in the inner corner. So going in with that flat tipped brush again and going in to like and putting that on the outer of this eye. Ooh, I like how that looks. I like that lower lash line. Honestly, I love when people do that with their eyeshadows, when there's a bold lower lash line and a more subtly um, lid and crease area. So now that that's in reverse, I really, really like that. And the fact that I'm giving you two-tone looks, like, hello. All right, so that completes our little review of the palette. Let me swatch all of them, and I will be right back. Alright, so, so far we have swatched Period, Cleo Amour, Like, and She Got Many. And what I'm going to do now with our clean fingers is I'm going to go in with Mercy, which is a metallic shade that we never actually touched in this video. So here is how she looks swatched. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Oh my goodness. She is such a gorgeous shade, and I kind of wish I put her on instead of baiting because I don't necessarily like baiting. I don't really like, you know, matte eyes. So next up is another shade that we didn't touch in this video, which is a whatever, which is a matte pinky toned shadow, which is definitely pretty, definitely pretty. Just didn't think I would use her in this video. And finally, we have baiting which is the shimmer shade on my left eye, which is your right, and um, definitely looking more satin and a little matte even, rather than shimmer. And I almost forgot, how could I be so rude? It's macchiato. All right, so I will definitely get better at swatching, but here are all the shades on my arm from period to macchiato. We have period, Cleo Moore, like, she got many, mercy, or whatever, <laughs> baiting, and macchiato. So that's the entire eyeshadow look. I'm gonna go put some lashes on and then we're gonna move on to the blush and the lipstick. Alrighty, so with lashes on, I'm looking in the monitor and I can see which eye look I would prefer. Honestly, I'd be that bold bitch to have this eye lid moment with this lower lash line moment and just have it look fierce as well. <laughs> but since it looks like this right now, I'm I'm still liking it. I like both. 
All right, so let's move on to the blush in the collection. This is the Breton Rock X ColourPop blush in Ooh, she's blushing. Now, as I said earlier, this is definitely a red fuchsia pink blush. Like, a little, like, a little goes a long way. The one thing I find interesting about this blush is that it smells like clay. It doesn't smell like Play-Doh. It doesn't smell like anything, like, kid-like. It just smells like clay. Like, random clay you find at the art supply stores. The really cool thing that I like is that it almost acts like a putty. It's very soft. It's very soft pressed. It's not necessarily acting like a shadow. It's acting like a putty. If you can see my fingerprint inside the actual blush. So, honestly, I've tried it out. And um, I was too, like, not understanding on how it actually, you know, came out and stuff. So let's use our blush brush. And let's put this on our cheeks. So I'm just going to try to use it as a regular blush and just tap onto it. And see if anything comes off. Now, we are seeing some pigment. Let's try that again. Even more pigment. I don't want to do too much. Let's see. I am not about to look like the clown today. Sis, no. If I wanted to look like a clown, I'd use Bianca Del Rio's makeup. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Sweet lord, that's a lot of blush. Oh my lord. Okay, so that looks okay now. Always use your beauty blender when you use too much. Let's try this again on this cheek. And we're gonna just, boop. Just a little rouge. We just want a little bit of rouge. Just a little bit. See, that's, that's softer. That's nicer. Still a little clammy though. That's nice. All right, so with blush on both cheeks, I do like this blush. It's very intense. Um, just gotta be careful with it. And honestly, I do like the fact that it smells like clay. I've always liked the smell of clay. All right, so with blush and shadow done, it is finally time to go into the lippies. All right, so as said earlier, this is the Satin Matte Lip in the shade Wig for the Lit Collection. And this is its lip gloss partner, I See You. And I will be putting on wig and then I see you. And we will get this final look. I will also put on some highlighter, don't worry. And I will be right back. All right, so this is wig by itself, the satin matte lip, and um, she's definitely here to make a statement, especially with this red lip. And now let's put on I See You, which is the gold gloss. Now, I'm never one for gold glosses. I will say this till the moon and back. I dislike gold glosses with everything in my power. Glosses are very in right now, and um, they shouldn't be. All right, so this is I See You on the lips. I definitely like this lip, just not with this eye. So um, it's a little too subtle for the bold, uh, but with like, if I cover this eye, whoa. Hello there, I see you. Oh, see, I get it. Okay, I see you. I see you. Got you. She's looking fierce with this eye. I love that. Overall, I do like this collection. I'm gonna go and put on some drag, and then I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts. Alright, everyone, and this is the finished look. I put on some hair, and I put on a nice little uh, crop sweatshirt, and I freaking love this eye. If you guys don't remember, this is the hair that I plucked and steamed out. I recurled it and I think it looks nice. I have it in a little side do right now and I mean, I have them edges laid, darling. So I think it's now time for my final thoughts on the Breckman Rock X ColourPop collection, the Lit Collection. I like most of the items in this collection. The only things I see myself not using again is the pigment actually. I don't think I'm going to use the pigment again, even though this is a pretty eye. Um, maybe not on the eyes, I think I'd more so use it on the highlight area or on top of the brow bone, um, maybe for like a Coachella moment, who knows, but definitely not on the eye again. It was way too stressful and I definitely do still have residue on my lashes. So I don't think I'll be using it on the eyes again, but definitely for something else. I also don't think I'd be using the lip gloss again. I am not one for a gold lip gloss. Maybe a white lip gloss or a pink lip gloss, but not a gold. I'm never a gold girl for lip gloss. A highlight though, I don't have highlight on right now. So as far as eyeshadows would go, I don't think I'll be using some of them. Cleo Moore being one of them, I don't think Cleo Moore was that pigmented and she seemed pressed a little bit harder than the other shadows. Maybe it was because she's a yellow, we'll never know. 
The next eyeshadow I don't think I'd be using is batting or baiting, whatever. <laughs> I just, because there is glitter in it, but it looks so matte and satin, I don't think I'd ever be able to use it. I don't really like a matte lid, as I said earlier, and um, I could never use it in the crease because there is glitter in it and you would never put glitter in the crease. I definitely want to try Mercy. That is the one shadow I didn't try in this video and I definitely want to try Mercy in the future. As far as the actual satin matte lip goes, I do like it and I've actually used it in the past. I will put up a picture of me on New Year's Eve. I did use that lipstick that night and I actually really really like it. It's a very cute shade. As far as the blush goes, a little goes a long way with this brush. I definitely like the blush and I will be using the blush again. I also use that on New Year's Eve and um, overall this collection gets a 8 out of 10 for me. That everyone, my House of DeLong Prey is the Bretman Rock X Colourpop collection. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more great videos like this, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I post every Tuesday and Friday. And if you be notified about when I post on Tuesday, please be sure to hit that bell notification so you go to notification about every single time I post. I love you guys, and before I go, I have a few things to say. Alright, so I have a Patreon. I do. If you want to go subscribe to me and donate something to me, or even just go and subscribe to my Patreon, feel free to do so. I would really love to have even greater content for you guys. I tried getting the James Charles palette this morning because this is when it restocked, and I was literally on the website and it kept stopping me because it kept getting jammed. And as soon as my internet stopped freezing and things actually started working, it was sold out. So it was a really sad time for me this morning, but I did buy something else in its replacement, ladies and gentlemen. All right, with all of that being said, I love you guys and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.